Hello and welcome back to the Invincible. Let's. I'm entering the next module. Oh. I guess it's a bio lab. I wanted to extract data from drone, but that's okay. To the scientists excavated some animal remains and reconstructed their hypothetical appearance. I found similar remains underground. Right after finding Gorski. I wasn't sure if it was my imagination or not. Now there's no doubt. So long, long ago, reptilian organisms roamed the surface of Regis III. They had the opportunity to study organisms preserved in the ocean. They found the same species of fish. Did they confirm the similarity to those on Earth? Yes. Lots of similarities. Apart from one. I've never seen anything like this. They discovered a new organ. Even managed to run some tests already. According to their conclusions... Yes? It detects electromagnetic waves. That's why those fish were swimming away from our probe. In other words, they've come across probes or something similar before. Something that threatened them. Kugasa. In order to develop such an organ, they must have had a strong external stimulus. They detect the waves to survive. Hmm. It started rotting. It? The fish. In a bacteria-free environment? How so? All living organisms serve as breeding grounds for bacteria. And there were both fish and humans in here. No longer alive. I could spend all day here if... Well, if I could. I'm not surprised, Doctor. Still, nothing. It looks like a geology lab. One of these diagrams shows a geological cross section. As suspected, it's all metal below the surface, of relatively thin layers of rock. But compared to the rest of the continent, the deposits in this region are significantly younger. The range of their ground measurements covers a much wider area. To my eye, it seems they use advanced sonar. What they dug up here stretches for tens of kilometers. What do you mean? What's in the ground, Doctor? Metal deposits. Those structures. We still don't know where they came from. In such a peculiar form. Unbelievable. Not only do we know nothing about their origin, but the arrangement of these deposits is sort of puzzling. A ring system with a distinct center. This base stands on the outer ring. The center of it is in... Hmm, under the city. Huh. The one I escaped from. So their presence there had nothing to do with us? Looks like it. Did they determine the entity's function? Origin? Anything? <sighs> well, it's hard to say. There's nothing here about it. They conducted a soil survey 500 meters deep. Oh, that's a big piece of history, so to speak. What did they find? Millions of years ago, life was abundant on the planet. Hmm. That would match our assumptions. Yeah. Sub-Delta 92 class planets have very favorable conditions for the development of a biosphere. So what happened? Did they draw any conclusions? According to them, the extinction of life was caused by a supernova explosion. 
The ground activity does not indicate... It happened long ago. Longer than we anticipated. They've dated this event to ten million years ago. Oh, only this one. The supposed end of Lyran's civilization. Oh, that's never been proven. There was practically no trace of them. All right. What happened after? Life was slowly recovering, but never returned to the pre-supernova peak. Not enough time? No. At first it developed quickly, but then slowed down and declined. Because another disaster? Astrogator, the change in the biosphere development curve coincides with the occurrence of ferruginous clays. This whole metal contraption, do I understand correctly? Yes. I don't know what that has to do with it, though. Metals are really not that dangerous. The radioactive deposits marked here are not a definitive obstacle for life, either. The biosphere has the ability to perfectly adapt, develop defense mechanisms, and fight back effectively. Well, unless the planet is hit by a supernova wave. Yes. Such sudden events leave no time for adaptation. Even if we assume that these metals were lethal to organic life, that extinction shouldn't last forever. And yet, life never again developed beyond the waters. Does this mean another dominator has appeared on the land? Or oh, one that leaves no trace behind? Therein lies the rub. The Alliance have conducted a great deal of research. That they haven't found a logical explanation for this phenomenon is, to put it mildly, disturbing. Clearly, we're dealing with something beyond our comprehension. And I mean human comprehension in general. First images from this area. If it's been flying long enough, it may store important information. Photograph the moment of my arrival. I'm on the slides. We already know that. Is there something else? No, the base is empty. The probe must have just started recording. Okay, finished. There wasn't much of it, really. The silhouette I saw. Yes? It's just a robot. If you're wondering, sir, it all just takes a 
takes longer than expected. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Yes, it is taking longer than expected because the game started breaking for some reason and freezing. Oh, bollocks. The excavation site is behind a force field. That's where the convoy was going. If these are Dirac emitters, that's an impenetrable barrier. There must be a field switch in the base. Uh, but where? In a way, that was a rather unusual maneuver to cut off the path back to base. Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Yes, I'm trying to find any information. Nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Huh? Right. Thank you. So, please, stop asking. <sighs> Upper level, you mean as in that? Force fills down. I open the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. When you're ready, Doctor. One more minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. Moving on. It's still quiet. It's eerie. 
looking? Mm -hmm. Not here either. Ah, bingo. Yes? Found it. They're still on the planet. Didn't fly away. Good to know. Thank you. I'm leaving the base, going after the convoy. This mission drags on so much. Sometimes I think you're gonna take off without me, sir. <laughs> Don't count on it, Doctor. I'm not going anywhere. You weren't here before. I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. My opinion, it's a bit excessive. Oh, well, for me, it's quite impressive. That was exactly their goal, to impress. Such giants aren't very practical, though. I would even say that the larger the ship, the bigger the problems. 
Interesting. They found a sizable object deep underground. Stands out from the rest. It's not a part of the structures, but rather an independent, autonomous machine. Also metal? Yes. So, a robot? Or something else that finally looks familiar? Well, it looks a lot more like a robot than the other structures. The excavator has a massive work area. They had photos of the site in the database, taken before they started digging. It's unrecognizable. Inside, there's a structure. Yes, a metal one. Similar to the ones on the surface. But these are completely hidden underground. According to the schemes from the geological unit, metal can be found in every part of this area. There's also a couple of smaller cranes here. In comparison to the Colossus, they look like it's pups. Yes, I got it. They are big machines. Bigger than ours. 